Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the quotient rule to calculate a derivative. So we're going to be using the quotient rule if we've got one function divided by another function. So it might look like this, y equals u of x divided by v of x. And if you want to see a function that looks like that, it might be cos x divided by x squared plus 5. So in that example, our u of x or our function u would be cos x and our function v would be x squared plus 5. So it's actually quite easy. So the quotient rule says that the derivative of this dy by dx is going to be equal to function v multiplied by the derivative of function u, subtract function u multiplied by the derivative of function v, and then all of that is divided by the function v squared. Okay, and you can see I've written that kind of neater here. So this might look like a long and confusing formula, but it's actually really easy. Like if you do two practice questions, you'll probably remember it. Um, and so I'll show you a practice question using it. So you can see it's not actually too difficult. So we've got to find the derivative of y equals sine x over x squared plus one. And so for this example, our u is gonna be sine of x and our v is gonna be x squared plus one. So let's find the derivative of u, that's just equal to cos of x and the derivative of v is just going to be 2x. And so now I'm just going to substitute everything I know into the quotient rule to find dy by dx. And so it says we've got to do function v multiplied by the derivative of u. So we're going to get x squared plus 1 multiplied by cos x. And then I'm going to subtract from that function u multiplied by the derivative of function v. So subtract 2x multiplied by sine x. And then we're going to take all of that and divide it by v squared, which is x squared plus one all squared. So that's pretty easy and that would be the derivative. But we can simplify it a tiny bit. We can split it into two separate fractions. So we can write it as x squared plus one cos x over uh, x squared plus one all squared. Subtract two x sine x divided by our x squared plus one all squared. And then you can see that this cancels with that. And so we get the derivative is equal to cos x, x squared over x squared plus one, minus two x sine x over x squared plus one all squared. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like it, subscribe and share it. And thank you for watching.